Wham, bam, Tesla cam. I hope you're satisfied. The next video shows a severe traffic collision. Viewer discretion is advised. Tristan was driving his Model X on the Garden State Parkway in Cranford, New Jersey, when he noticed cars up ahead swerving to avoid a wrecked car in the leftmost lane. Several of the cars lost control and crashed as they were trying to avoid the accident. As Tristan came closer, he saw that they were actually trying to avoid a woman who had been ejected from the wreck and was lying in the middle of the road. He quickly moved his Tesla to block traffic and protect the woman from getting run over. Tristan activated his hazard lights and started waving at approaching cars to slow down. As soon as he was sure that all cars behind him had stopped, he got out to check on the woman. It turned out she was a nurse. She was conscious and able to speak, but she had both a broken arm and a broken leg. Tristan calmed her by holding her hand while he called 911. In the meantime, the drivers who had lost control while avoiding the wreck started reversing back to the crash site. The driver of the black Lexus was a Union County Sheriff's Officer, and he also called in the accident before directing traffic around the crash site. Seconds later, a doctor with a first aid kit stopped and checked on the woman. Tristan kept holding her hand and promised that he wouldn't leave her side. Next, a pickup truck stopped and an off-duty emergency medical technician jumped out and headed to the crash site. He was wearing shorts in the middle of a cold January. This just confirms that medical workers are in fact superheroes. Moments later, first responders arrived. The doctor and the sheriff's officer cleared a path for them to come through. The emergency responders just kept on coming. New Jersey State Police, Cranford Police, Ambulance, Fire Department, even tow trucks. It's crazy to see all these people running around while Tristan stays with the woman the entire time. Tristan found it very lucky for the woman that an EMT, a doctor, and a sheriff's officer all happened to stop within one minute of the accident. Based on her vehicle having a flat tire, he speculates it might have blown out and caused the accident, but he's not sure. The police still haven't determined the cause. The EMT in the black shorts knew the other EMTs who were arriving and even directed the firefighters on what to do. Tristan says he doesn't consider himself a hero. He just did what he hoped someone would do for him if he was ever in a similar situation. We disagree, Tristan. You did a heroic job in stopping traffic and staying with the woman all the way until they put her in the ambulance. Well done. Wham bam, you're a hero, man. Tristan is actually the founder of the New Jersey Tesla Car Club, which has over 1,500 members on Facebook. Another member of the group was stuck in miles of traffic in his Model 3 due to the accident and shared these pictures. This was a very scary accident and it warms our heart that people like Tristan and the others who stopped actually exist. We wish the woman a speedy recovery. John was driving down the freeway in Hawaii with autopilot engaged when his Tesla unexpectedly slowed down. It was reacting to the traffic in front of him that had slowed down for a tow truck on the side of the road. 
A car in the fast lane seems to have been following the car in front of them too closely. When it slowed down, their reaction time wasn't quite fast enough. They slammed on their brakes and swerved to the left, hitting the vehicle the tow truck driver was securing. Then they bounced into the car that had been in front of them before nearly hitting the tow truck driver himself. John noticed the accident in his side view mirror. He checked the news, but he never saw anything about the accident, so he assumes everyone's okay. He's sure the tow truck driver had a real scare though. James was driving his Model 3 on I-66 in Fairfax, Virginia. This particular stretch of road is known to be very dangerous due to cars trying to reach the exit to Route 28. James heard a loud noise on his right side but didn't see anything. Instinctively, he hit the Save Video button, and when he checked the footage later, he saw this multi-vehicle accident. It was a three-car accident that happened because of a traffic slowdown, causing cars following too closely to be unable to stop in time. We can see a truck in the video slow down and swerve a bit to miss the accident as it happens. James called the Fairfax Police non-emergency line and got in contact with the officer who was investigating the crash. James was then able to give him the Tesla cam footage. The officer told him that it was a fairly straightforward accident investigation, but having the footage helped. A few days later, the officer sent him a text that read, I have concluded with aid of your video and statements of drivers that the second car did not hit first, rather was struck in rear causing it to strike car in front. Thank you for your assistance. This is our first video submission from the Czech Republic. Fasten your seatbelts. Vitek was driving his Model 3 on a country road when he got stuck behind slower moving traffic. As he approached a straightaway without any oncoming traffic, he decided to overtake the slower cars in front of him. Unfortunately, the driver of the Porsche in front of him had the same idea and decided to overtake without checking rearview mirror. She hit his Tesla, but he managed to hold his lane until he could safely pull over to inspect the damage. Vitek called the police, who quickly arrived at the scene. He gave them the Tesla cam footage and they watched it on their laptop. They immediately concluded that the Porsche driver was at fault. She received a citation and all repairs will be covered by her husband's insurance. Here's a picture of the damage to his Tesla. It's not hard to see there is some extensive damage to the doors. Jerry was on the way home from grocery shopping in his Model 3 when a car with a flashing yellow arrow mistakenly turned left across three lanes of oncoming traffic that all had green lights. The truck in the right lane barely missed the turning car and the car in the middle lane was able to slow down and let it through. However, the Suburban in the left lane didn't slow down and T-boned the car, crashing into the light pole. Jerry stopped and called 911 and at least five emergency responders were there within five minutes. Jerry left his phone number with the police so they could reach him for the Tesla cam footage. The medical responders were too busy with the accident for him to approach them at the time, but he really hopes that everyone was all right. Darren in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada sent us this video which shows almost the same exact scenario as in Jerry's video. He was following traffic in his Model Y when he approached a traffic light. Just as the lights turned red, a white SUV in the oncoming lane tried to make the light. At the same time, a black car tried to make a turn. This time, the SUV barely missed the light pole. Hitting save on the Tesla cam, Darren pulled over to make sure everyone was okay. Thankfully, nobody was hurt in the accident. He let them know he had footage of the incident and both parties and the police were very interested in the video. Later, he learned that their insurance companies were also happy to have it. We're unsure who was determined to be at fault. What's your opinion? Let us know in a comment. Zach was driving his Model 3 on the Loop 12 highway in Dallas, Texas with autopilot engaged. He noticed a Toyota starting to merge into his lane, but autopilot didn't react and he had to take manual control. The Toyota tried to merge into his lane, backing off when he noticed Zach's Tesla, but then he tried a second time. Zach did avoid the accident with an evasive maneuver, but it came with a cost. 
As we can see in the front camera, there was an object in the road, and when Zack moved to avoid a collision with the Toyota, he accidentally hit the object with both of his left tires, denting the wheels significantly. After the incident, both of his left tires immediately lost about 15 PSI each. Zack had to rush to a gas station to fill them up. Fortunately, the closest Tesla shop was only 10 minutes away. Once he got to the shop, they took very good care of him, setting him up with a loaner car in under 30 minutes. They quoted 2200 US dollars to fix the damaged rims. Unfortunately, some trouble started when he contacted his insurance company. He'd purchased his Model 3 from a family member without writing up a bill of sale, so the insurance company actually started to investigate him. This process went on for about two weeks. He participated in multiple recorded phone calls and interviews. They thought he had bought the car in damaged condition and was trying to defraud his insurance to repair things that were already wrong with it. He offered his insurance company, Geico, the Tesla cam video to prove that the accident happened, but they had no interest in the video and had no intention of accepting it in the investigation. In the end, they ruled that the accident would qualify as a no-fault collision, despite the fact that he was forced to swerve away from the Toyota to avoid what could have been a very nasty accident. They claimed that it was his fault that his car physically impacted the object. When all was said and done, he ended up having to pay a 500 US dollar deductible. Edwin was driving his Model Y in San Francisco, California when the driver in front of him illegally overtook two cars using the shoulder of the highway. His fancy driving kicked debris up onto Edwin's Tesla, which chipped his bumper's paint. After he sent the Tesla cam video to his insurance company, they were able to find the driver. A claim was filed with the other driver's insurance and they admitted fault. Edwin is now in the process of getting the damage repaired. There's no way Edwin would have been able to prove his claim with the insurance company without the Tesla cam footage as evidence. Wham bam, you got caught on cam. While we're talking about insurance, this next video demonstrates one of the most common insurance scams. It actually might have started the whole dash cam trend in Russia, since drivers needed to have evidence of the con artists in action. Brian was driving his Model 3 in Corona, California one night. A man intentionally tried to run into his Tesla, but he managed to brake and avoid hitting him. Brian says it almost gave him a heart attack. He leaned over to the center screen to select a song on Spotify, so he confesses that he wasn't fully concentrating on the road when this happened. So the idea here is for the man to run into the Tesla, then claim that Brian hit him and try to get a cash settlement from Brian, or from his insurance company. Wham bam, that won't work with Tesla cam. Six days into owning his 2021 Model 3, Brad was driving on the freeway in Philadelphia when he witnessed this truck driver almost cut off an SUV before slamming into a wall. He almost couldn't believe his eyes when the truck continued on his merry way like nothing had happened. That was quite the impact. Brad emailed the Tesla cam video to the company that owns the truck, but he never got a reply. Darren was driving his Model S on Highway 400 outside of Orilla in Ontario, Canada when this suddenly happened. The elderly driver, who was driving on the wrong side of the road on the highway, almost hit several cars head on, but just kept on trucking. Darren informed the police and sent them the Tesla cam video. Steve was driving his Model 3 down Florida State Road 429 in Orlando when he passed a concrete truck spewing rocks out of the back. He said it felt like he was being fired at by a machine gun. It's a little difficult to see the large number of pebble projectiles coming out of the back of the truck from the front camera. The rapid fire rocks damaged his windshield in four places and created several paint chips on the front passenger side of Steve's Tesla. Steve called the owner of the concrete company and notified him of the damage to his car. The owner asked if he had seen the sign on the back of the truck stating, do not follow closer than 200 feet behind this truck. 
Steve let him know that he wasn't even in the same lane, but the owner seemed to think the sign absolved his company of any public endangerment. He hasn't returned Steve's phone calls or emails since their first contact. He took a still image from the side camera, and in it we can see at least 13 soaring stones in this single frame of video. Steve is hiring an attorney to get the concrete company to pay for the repairs to his Model 3. Jenny went out to dinner with her daughter and her fiancé in Muncie, Indiana. A few days later, she was looking through clips that Sentry Mode had captured when she found this. She was delighted to see this clip that not only showed a beautiful sunset, but also showed the two of them approaching the car and saying hello in this creative way. Jordan had parked his Model 3 in Uklulit, British Columbia, Canada, and the car was completely full of camping gear. He was a little bit worried about his car being broken into, so when he returned to his car, he anxiously checked out this Sentry Mode event. Sentry Mode had indeed caught someone. Then she brought the whole family over to check it out. Jordan thought it was funny, and so do we. Apparently they knew about Sentry Mode because she gave Jordan a thumbs up. If we try to do a little amateur lip reading, it sure looks like she says, Nice car. Herman is from Sweden, but was driving in Norway to visit his grandfather. That's when he witnessed this rather dangerous situation when another Model 3 overtook him. While overtaking multiple vehicles, the driver in the white Tesla dangerously accelerated to merge just in time to avoid an oncoming car, which also happened to be a Model 3. Herman says that the situation reminded him of when he told his grandfather that he had bought a Tesla. Shocked, he said, Teslas drive so rapidly and violently. They're lunatics here. After this incident, Herman finally understood what he meant by that. Glenn was driving his Model 3 in Brownsville, Texas. As he was passing a car dealership, he swerved out of his lane a bit to avoid a car hauler with its hazard lights on. That's when the car in the opposite lane swung its driver's door open. He quickly moved to avoid the door. Glenn says the driver of the car was a teenager. He isn't sure if what happened was intentional, but it was dangerous all the same. Varun was driving his Model S on one of the busiest highways in Ontario, Canada, near Toronto. A Honda Accord in front of him almost merged into a Subaru Ascent. Luckily, the Subaru driver managed to save the day. Alex arrived to unplug his Model 3 from a public charger in East London when he saw a note under his windshield wiper. It was from Jamie, a driver of a Nissan Leaf who had parked behind him. The note asked if Alex could plug Jamie's car in when he was done with the charging station. At the time, he figured it was innocent enough, and he went ahead and plugged in the Leaf before he took off. It was only after he got home and reviewed his sentry mode footage that he realized Jamie had actually tried to unplug him so he could charge his own car. Alex says that if he had realized at the time what kind of person Jamie was, he probably wouldn't have been willing to help him out. Ethan had parked at a local store in Denton, Texas, and when he got back to his Model Y, he had this Sentry Mode event. A stranger first tried to figure out how the door handles worked. He then pointed out to his girlfriend that the car was recording everything, and he wrapped things up by showing off to the camera. Mark was returning to a supercharger where his Model Y was charging in Erie, Pennsylvania. While admiring a Model S off camera, he wasn't paying attention to where he was walking. Mark says that they both had a good laugh and he hopes that all of you will join in and laugh with him as well. 
Now it's time for us to play a little game I like to call Animal Car Bingo. In this game, we'll take a look at 10 different clips and we'll see if you can figure out what animals we're looking at. Leave a comment with your answers and in two weeks, we'll choose a winner from among those who got the right answers. The winner will get to share their Tesla referral code, plus they'll receive this sweet Wham Bam t-shirt. Nice. Wham Bam, it's time for Animal Cam. This first video is from Val in New York. Question number one, what kind of animal are we looking at here? This one is also from Val from the same stretch of road. Question number two, is this the same kind of animal? Val is quite the Dr. Doolittle and keeps sending in animal videos. For question number three, what kind of animal is crossing here? The sign Val is passing here is a big hint for question number four. What kind of animal resembles this traffic sign? Scott was driving his Model S in Australia and taking a scenic drive around Lake Wendery when a very well-trained bird crossed the road in front of him. Question number five is, what kind of bird is this? John and his daughter were headed down I-80 to Reno when they witnessed this majestic creature. For question number six, what kind of animal are we looking at? A few days after this submitter got his Tesla, he caught this clip in Azusa, California while headed to a photo shoot for BlizzCon's cosplay contest. All of a sudden, this animal ran out into the street and luckily managed to roll under the SUV in front of him. For question number seven, what kind of animal is it? Sirius had been on a 2,000 mile road trip from Germany to Rome in Italy and back, really testing out the long range capabilities of his Model 3. As he enjoyed the scenic route through the northern Italian mountains, he says Italy had many surprises for them, but this moment was kind of special. A sign indicated that goats and cows may cross the street, but then these animals decided to check out the road conditions. For question number eight, what animal is this? It seems like they didn't feel threatened by Sirius's silent Tesla, but when a local motorcyclist approached them and honked multiple times, they opened up and let them pass. Mateo was driving back home after running some errands in Pasadena when he saw this animal walking in the middle of the road. For question number nine, what are we looking at? David was driving home when these animals jumped out in front of him. For question number 10, what are they? Comment below with your 10 answers and we'll draw a winner from among the correct answers in two weeks. We'll end this week's episode with this video from the Twitter user Tesla Master. It shows him testing out the new boombox feature. The boombox feature lets you change the sound of the horn and play sound effects from the external speakers. guys, if you can see that red subscribe button, that means you're not subscribed to the Wham Bam channel yet. It would mean the world to us if you would do that, so please hit that subscribe button. Thanks. Oh Lord, won't you buy me a Cybertruck? My friends, I'll drive diesel, I must make it.